Hey guys, I'm CJ. I'm Sheldon. Hey guys, I'm Kat from Comic Una. And this is The Long Box for March the 14th, 2013. So, uh, today I have with me one of the prologue comics. Uh, this one is the Age of Apocalypse for the Extermination Event. So what did you guys bring today? You want me to go? go? Okay. Um, I have Age of Ultron, Issue 2, so that's the big event book. And, um, I'll mention the other ones I have after Shelton goes. Alrighty. Yeah, I have... Yep, I have, yep, I have Batman, Batman Robin, Robin, issue 18, War Requiem, after Damien's death, and also Batman, Batman issue 18, Requiem. Well, I, both, I well. do have both those issues also, so we could definitely talk about that. Man, I'm like yeah. the only one that didn't have get those issues. Say. I'm going to feel <laughs> left the out. They're popular. <laughs> yeah, Robin unfortunately, died. unfortunately, I has no money. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so you can go sucks. first since you have the um, Age of Apocalypse. Alrighty, so uh, for Age of Apocalypse, this is issue 13. Uh, the cover was, uh, first off, I want to say the cover was a little bit misleading. Uh, the main reason for that is because we get this nice big image of Nightcrawler on the front of the comic, and he only shows up two times in the book. And it actually starts off with Nightcrawler, so I can give them that. Uh, in the Earth 616, uh, we are in Japan, and Nightcrawler is talking to Mystique. They have this big, long conversation about how Nightcrawler wants to get back to his world, and Mystique's trying to convince him to stay and join her team of, uh, I, I'm guessing, mutants. I jumped in with this series at like issue eight, so I'm not fully caught up on all what's going on. Um, after that, we are then brought the uh, Earth where Age of Apocalypse is. The mutants are now starting to tear down the statues and what remains of Apocalypse's rule over Earth. We then cut to scene Logan. And he confronts Scott Summers and also taunts him about killing his brother, which is awesome. And then he just whips out his claws and sticks Scott right in the head with them. And Scott dies. I'm like, yes! This is finally dead. So, uh, now... Uh, yeah, I, I, I hate Scott Summers so much. I oh, do God. too, actually. We all, he, we all do. Gosh. And he's, he's my he's least either, favorite. Yeah, he's either, and in every single world, he's either a whiny bitch or a douchebag. More so of anyways. a douchebag than anything, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, um, after that, like immediately after that, uh, Jean Grey shows up. And she's trying to get Logan to join her family or team or whatever the heck she's trying to do. Uh, we then cut to Goodnight. He's paying a little visit to, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his, his name correctly, Sida Stain? Uh, S-E-D... Couldn't tell you. Uh, no? <laughs> okay. Um, who's kind of barred up, and he's just like, oh, why are you here? And, you know, he starts, uh, picking on him, and the guy's... And the guy looks at him and he's just like, oh, well, you know, I thought I'd come and visit you right before you die because, you know, I kind of bribed the guards so that I could poison your water. So, yeah, fuck you. And uh, he, of course, dies and passes out and all that fun stuff. Then we flash back to Jean Grey having a flashback and talking about some war or battle that happened with Omega Red. Um, after that little fun trip through time ends we after which see prophet talking to and they they don't tell us his name but some doctor and how like prophet needs his help <clears throat> to kind of help out 
both the humans and the mutants, but the doctor wants to continue his experiments with finding some kind of like free energy with the weapons that were left behind by Apocalypse. And then the comic book ends with us being brought back to Earth 616. We are now in that Earth's Manhattan, and Beast is trying to make a break for it. But, of course, Nightcrawler shows up right near the end of it and pretty much tells Beast, Okay, uh, you're going to help us get back to our world, or I'm going to start fucking some shit up starting with your face. And the comic book ends there. In all honesty, the cover was bit, a bit of a letdown. Because... Because you want a Nightcrawler. Exactly. Like, you see this magnificent photo of Nightcrawler, and he's there for all of, like, two pages. So I was... I was a little... Okay, I, see, I see your complaint. Hmm? I see, I see your issue with that. I mean, yeah. it's kind of deceiving. Yeah, like, I mm. I was a little annoyed with that. Um, still a good story. Uh, so far, anyways, we'll have to wait and see how the whole thing plays out. So, uh, Kat, just because you aren't may not be fully aware of how we rank things, we have our own little ranking system. Mm-hmm. At the top is Buy It Now, then Netflix bargain bin and then burn it and piss on the ashes so i'm going to give this one a netflix it, it was still a good book but the cover yeah, was it. very misleading uh overall i do look forward to reading the rest of the issues for the extermination saga but yeah i mean other than that it it didn't wow me it just kind of you know it, it shows us this big nice flashy picture uh, the story was okay, and then the end, it's like, oh, what's going to happen? And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I, 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 I can see where you're coming from. from. Yeah, so I guess that... And this uh, echo is, is so annoying. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I got probably get earphones. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, well. But, um, yeah, so I guess that concludes my review you get those of back, issue or? 13. So, uh, I guess I'll move on to um, Batman. I'm going to... Re- review yeah. Batman and Robin first because it's shorter, not a lot happened, and there's no text in it. Um, <clears throat> basically, Bruce is grieving in this issue. This is basically a grieving issue for Bruce. He lost his son, and he's seeing Damien not, it's not a hallucination, it's not a hallucination, it's more like almost a mini flashback, like you see him falling down, down the fire pole, and he looks to the side, and he'd see Damien, but Damien's not really there. Or he'd be in the Batmobile, and he looked aside, and Damien would be there, but he's he's not there. And at the end, um, you see Damien had a note for Bruce in his locker, and he reads it, and basically it's just Damien telling him how much he respected and loved his father, but he couldn't say it to his face. And Bruce just loses it. He just can't take it, and he breaks down and just grabs Damien's costume and hugs it. And for me, this is, I, I almost cried, don't lie, I almost cried, okay? I almost cried. I think a lot um, of us did. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's just, this, 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 this reminds me of Jason's death, me. but it's more than that for me, because it's, when, when Jason died, Bruce went dark, but Bruce just lost blood. The last time he lost his blood family were his own parents. His son, yes. He lost, the, yeah, that, is, that means he it's couldn't protect his, 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 his parents, parents, and he couldn't protect his son. son. I mean, how does that how does that change him? I mean, you can tell in the next issue, I'll say it was basically I'm pretty sure this one happens first because then this the next one he is pretty much going all out on criminals. Um, but yeah, this issue it's short. It um, you'll get through it really fast. I blew through it in a short amount of time, but it's a big impact. Like the silence, the new text, the, the no text in this book is spinning. Um, um, but it's basically the silent grief of Bruce in this book. Um, and I'd give it, uh, what's, what's the top rating? Um, that go, would be go a buy right now. And buy it, is it? Yeah. Is, buy it now. Buy it now. Buy now. And cry. And cry like the rest of us. Buy it now, um, and then after you read it, you cry. <laughs> yeah. Just, yes. just, well, there's, there's a cure for that. There's a very old Scottish cure for that. 
buy a lot of liquor and just cry into the bottle. It's like, oh. <laughs> if you if you're illegal, sure. <laughs> yes, um, uh, TV pop culture but... does not support underage drinking. Don't don't go and do that. Yes. Yeah, no. that would be bad. I I get enough letters exactly. of complaint from the swears that happen on the show at times from people's parents. You yeah. can't control it sometimes. You yeah. know, sometimes something big exactly. happens and yeah. just can't control it. <laughs> okay, uh, emotions. Um, <laughs> and this next one, Batman. I feel it's um, this one is really showing exactly how far. This grief has brought Bruce. It starts off unexpected for me. It started off for start started off with Harper and her brother going to see their father in jail in Blackgate um, Penitentiary, and I never really looked into Harper's character that much. She hasn't been around that much in the series, from what I I haven't even read anything with anymore. Harper before Neither this because yeah, I, she, I started with Death of the Family. Family. Was new for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. She shows up, I think, in either the first or the second issue of the series when it started. She actually saved Bruce from, um, I think it was a night, uh, a court of the owls attack, and he was in a sewer, and she saved him. Um, I'm not actually sure how she brought him out of yeah, the sewer. Yeah, I think they mentioned that in this. Yeah, and um, you see that Harper is sort of she's being her own vigilante now, and I know this is, I I don't think she's gonna be Robin. I don't think she's gonna, be, she's gonna be Robin because um, I'm well, holding DC out hope for either. No, I don't think they announced yeah. it. It's just been very speculation about it, and like, how can she be Robin, especially Where with this it? issue? Exactly. I have it and, here um, somewhere. In this issue, basically, you see. Yes. Uh, in this issue, um, you see Bruce. He's, Bruce is going. Bruce is basically taking out his anger on every criminal he can find. Like every criminal he can find, he is kicking their ass, he is dragging them and putting them, you can see on, in, in this one, you see um, a panel of a bunch of criminals on the roof of Gotham Station that Bruce, I think it was either this one or this one, that there are a bunch of criminals on the roof of um, Gotham, this is the police station in Gotham, and basically Harper finds Bruce and he almost gets killed. Like she knows he's he's getting sloppy. He's missing punches. He's getting injured. His his suit is all frayed, and um, she finds him. He almost gets killed by a bunch of dogs, uh, venom dogs. And then she comes and she saves him. And and she's basically trying to tell him, I know how you feel. I've lost someone before. And there's a little controversial thing here. I was like, he he basically punches her, punches her through a fence. In the face, and it kind of breaks her yeah, nose. Yeah, that was a little, a little rude. I was like, <laughs> you know, like Bruce, I know you're upset, but is punching a teenage girl gonna fix all that? Um, and breaking her nose, like, I, you I know. know. Yeah, I didn't know her nose wow. was broken until that panel, and I saw the the black eye and the Bruce. Like, whoa, mm-hmm. Bruce, take it easy. And, and um, uh, at, at the end, um, let's go a bit. But basically, Harper out of costume and Bruce out of costume in. Um, as Bruce Wayne in, um, I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was Batman Incorporated. Maybe it was just the Wayne Tower. But, um, she comes to him with a, with a, with a, I guess a blueprint for something. I guess the blueprints yeah, for. Yeah, it's like a blueprint. What, I don't know exactly what it was for, but it was a blueprint. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was for. I guess it was for the, just for the, whatever will go up on, at the end of the comic. But basically at the end, Harper's on the roof. Bruce says, sorry for kind of breaking your nose um, and giving you a black eye. She's like, oh, don't worry, it's cool. Happens every other... <laughs> it was going happen eventually. She said, just didn't think it would be you. Um, and <laughs> she just didn't think it was going to be Batman, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my icon just in the face. I should be honored Mine's at the same time as I offended. Mine's story for in the face, small child. <laughs> it's what cool. Yeah, my, um, my parents do it to me all the time anyways. <laughs> Exactly, and um, <laughs> she tells them basically. My mom said, my mom, "My mom told me one thing when she, ever she was in a dark moment, and that was, um, uh, you see it. I, it's kind of hard to tell if you didn't know exactly where to look. I think it said a resolve. Um, I thought it said Robin at first, but right. then I saw the corner. The corner said DC Batman in resolve. So I guess she told him resolve, and you know, it basically means kind of finding." A solution to a hard pro, 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 
Am I skimming or different? Well, resolve your feelings. Um, yeah, yeah, resolve. I mean, just organize yourself, Bruce. Just or- organize yourself because he knows he has to. I don't know if there will ever be a Robin after this. And honestly, honestly, if they keep Damien dead, if they really Stephanie keep Brown. an impact, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm Stephanie iffy. Brown. I want her Bring to be spoiler back. again, personally. I want her to be spoiling her back. back. I don't care how they do it. As oh, long I as would love. Yeah, I would love to have Stephanie I'll, Brown back. Yeah, me too. I want her and Cassandra Crane, because Cassandra was personally my one of my favorite parts of the Bat family. But I want Stephanie back because I was loving that pre-52 Batgirl book so much. I was loving the um, crap out of that book. Me too. Brian K. Miller was brilliant. That's one of my favorite series of all time, is that Stephanie <gasps> Brown yeah, series. Yeah, one, one of mine too. That and also, um, personally... The, the true, true Tim Drake, Drake, Red Robin, pre-52, because I hate this oh, yeah, Tim Drake. Oh, yeah, that's a brilliant him. series also. Yes. It's just, I don't want to get into Tim because I'll go on for hours, but anyways, I'm hoping they bring Stephanie back. I'm hoping they bring Cassandra, though. I don't think she should be Robin. I want her to be Black Bat because she was just getting started as Black Bat before, pre- pre- before New 52 happened. Mm. And I would, I'm just... Uh, I think this is, this is anyways, rating-wise, this is, go out and, if you want to see how Bruce, um, how, how, how much more the death of Damien is affecting Bruce, I say go pick this up, pick up right away, that's rating, I can't remember the rating, pick up right away, because it's is very, very Is there anything bad about simple. it? Oh, okay, bad. He punches a girl in the face. <laughs> that was right pretty away. bad. Put that <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I wish I kind of wish I had more of Bruce and less of Harper in this one. I mean, they're seeing her, but it was kind of through her eyes. It wasn't really Bruce. I, I like to see Bruce's narration while he's fighting criminals. Like, we only get really get one line out of him. And it's not very clear. He says, "I think he says, where's my next fight when he's about to fight the Venom Dogs?" And mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, well. Are you fighting to, you know, forget about Damien's death? Are you trying to get your anger out on these criminals? It never really goes there. I guess we're supposed to guess to to that. He never really explains that. Even when he's talking to Harper about how she shouldn't be do this. Like, do you think, like he said, do you think I'm just going to come and train you just because you're doing this yourself? You're going going out as a vigilante? It wasn't clear. I guess he... He's, he has mixed emotions. All I can tell is that he has mixed emotions about what's he going on. He's angry. angry. And yeah. I'm hoping the next couple... Yeah, he's, he's he's just angry and going through grief. And I really cannot wait, personally, for Jace, her, for Dick's and Jason's part of the story. Because Jason, Jason and Dick are going to be very important parts of the story. Because, one, Jason died before. What's Jason going to say to this? And two, Dick was, Jace, Dick was Damien's partner before before Bruce was. So how is he going to see We saw that in Batman Incorporated, their kind of dynamic. If you read the issue where Robin dies, they had a dynamic, and you get to see that, I think we'll see that in Nightwing. How much he misses I'm pretty sure that Jason's probably going to walk up to Bruce and be like, what what the fuck, man? What the fuck? And then just be like, you know what? We were cool before, but fuck you. You know what? You letting me die, you yeah. know, that's that's one thing. But, like, that that was your kid. Fuck you, dude. And just have him walk off. I think so, too. He, he might do that. He, yeah, he... I'm definitely... They're definitely going to have... Someone's going to hit someone, I'm sure. Yeah. I know that. Or or Jason just will probably be like, you punch or... a small child in the face. Real cool, Bruce. Real cool. He, he, he doesn't know about that. No one knows about that. And I don't... I don't think Harper's going to find out. Just yeah. like, so how did you meet Bruce? He punched me in the face. What? <laughs> what was your worst time with Bruce? He punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's how they that's how they all the time. But um yes, yeah, so you know, you're next, I guess, right? Okay. You're up to- Um Age Ultron, book two, which uh the first issue I didn't really love. Um it really uh is a filler issue. But uh, with this issue, I think um, we finally get some story. I don't know if it's really great as an event. It's a, it's another world, you know. Um, an event supposed to affect the 616 universe. I think it will go into the 616 universe somehow. But um, it's an interesting story. We get to see Black Widow, how she's affected with Age of Ultron. 
And um, how Spider-Man is Peter Parker, so if you like Peter Parker, you're gonna like this. Um, I don't know how that's gonna connect to Superior Spider-Man, but um, it's a pretty good start. I know a lot of people are hating on this um, this whole entire event, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. It was a pretty good issue, and I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm not gonna say it's good. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but I think it has um, it has a potential. So I thought it was a good issue though, and um, again, not good for an event, but good for a story. Okay. <laughs> you, you know what? I I just need to comment on what you said about Spider Man. Uh, I think the 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 Spider Man fanboys need to calm the f down. Okay, there's still people online bitching about. Oh well, you know, Doc Ock shouldn't be Spider Man because it's like okay, seven hundred issues. Remember that seven hundred issues. Batman didn't even make it that far before Bruce was killed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. C come on, guys. You know what? Like, yeah. let's, let's perspective. That's well, he's, still, he's still around too, though. Isn't he? He's still around. Like, as a as a subconscious level, isn't he? Like, he isn't he like, is. Sort of, uh, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> really? I thought. It was yeah. Kind if of a, you read kind of it, it's like thing. very repeatable. It's, it's like, like we, we know, know what, what Peter, Peter would say, say and, and it, it worked, worked for the, the first time, time, but now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is, like, Doc, is Doc, Doc like Ock? give us give some issues just with Doc Ock, and then um, after that, kind of bring Peter in as a, a later element instead of like right away. Yeah, I think it would have been better that way, but I think Dan thoughts like, oh, oh no, no one's gonna read my book, so I have to <laughs> go put Peter somehow. Yeah. So that's that's why they didn't want fans to be scared, so that's why they did it. <laughs> Fan, the, yeah, the, the, the fans in, like, need the to grow the. Year, so. the uh, that's what the no. I agree. Like I like I Peter, but it. it's something different. They're doing yeah, it. They exactly. they made something different with this, and he's gonna come back in the summer. Exactly. So. I, like, I, it's not I gonna be that maybe long. A year, maybe a year at the most yeah. before he's fully come back. And the only reason they're really doing this is so that Peter Parker will be more like Bruce Wayne. That's the only reason. Oh why. no 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 no. I won't even say that. I won't say that. Personally, I feel everyone's getting upset because we kind of lost two Spider-Men in the span of, what, two years? We lost Ultimate and Amazing in the span of two years. Oh, yeah, so yeah. People are like, Wait, what happened to Miles? People are kind of like, you know, oh, you should, no, no, I mean, Peter Parker, Ultimate. Oh, I mean, oh okay. Yeah. I was going to be like, what? They killed the Black Spider-Man? Kind of like, you know, oh, no, they can't kill Miles. That would be a little bit crazy. <laughs> no, people they can't. Be like, but, I heard, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing uh, <laughs> I'm hearing rumors about um, they're apparently gonna end the Ultimate Universe. I'm hearing, but yeah, um, I heard I, rumors I about that yet. too. I'll trust that just because um, well, Miles is Ultimate Spider-Man is really really good. Like it's really really I'm loving Miles good. right now. I'm loving. Yeah, I'm loving the like, character. I'm loving. Yeah, it is. It's such, and I love it too. It's, real, it's a really good comic, and people should buy more of it. But anyways, um, Peter's going to come back, obviously. He won't die forever. He never, no comic book character ever does in the main universe, too. It's not Ultimate. It's not like all the X-Men are dead in Ultimate. That's just crazy. I still find almost all of them, anyways, are dead. Yeah, most of the X-Men are all dead. All the main ones. Is, is Nightcrawler yeah. still alive? Um, no, obviously. No, no, no. I think he died, too. <laughs> Bastards. Yeah. You know Kitty's alive. In that universe, man? Iceman's alive. That's it. <laughs> if, if, Kitty, if Kitty's uh, alive, I can live with that. No, you're just going to find a phone and I like it when I go over the uh, 15 minute mark. Anyways, yeah, um, CJ? Yeah. Yes. Um, thank you, Uno, for coming on with us. That's a really yes. great thing you did. Thank you. And keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. It was so much fun to do all this. I, I definitely would want to do this again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. It would be great if we did this again, but I have exams this week, them. so... Okay, right. anyway. <laughs> I'm CJ. With, you know, university stuff, okay? Damn it, Sheldon, we all right, Sheldon, end this bye. episode now. Okay, I am CJ. <laughs> I'm Sheldon. And I'm Kat from Comic yeah. Uno. And this has yeah. been the long box for March the 14th. 2013 if you want to subscribe to comic uno's channel you'll be able to find it in the description box down below see you guys next time